104.9 Sunshine FM. Tracy and the Big D with you right through until 10 o'clock. It's very getting very, very close. It is. It We're is. drawing closer. It's been a big night. Started off this morning because the Big D is decided, right, that's it. You're feeling a lot better now. We're going to go and get fit. I'm not quite a grandma yet, but I felt like I was doing boot camp this morning. We did a big run around the – well, didn't actually run, did we? It was fast walking around the park, and we did all the gym stuff around there. So I am feeling the pinch a bit. And talking about that one, because it just reminds me of the song Grandma's Doing Boot Camp, which we played a few weeks back, actually, by uh, Sharon Heaslip. And I'm proud to say, very, very proud, that this beautiful lady has jumped straight into our Country Tracks Top 40 charts, and she has hit the road running with number 14 with the Drover and the Brumby. Sharon joins us right now. Sharon, congratulations. Hello, Tracy and Darren. Thank you so much. Wow. What a surprise, hey? It was just like... It is such a surprise. Well, the album is titled A Year of Firsts. By golly, it is a year of firsts for you, Sharon Heaslip. Absolutely. It it is, and and that's a song on many levels. You know, that was about, um, you know, the saying goodbye, but then the saying hello. And um, absolutely, there's so many things to tell you. You talked about grandma doing boot camp, and it is a year of first. I'm going to be a grandma. (laughs) Congratulations. I tell you, it is a year of first, isn't it? Just going around everywhere. On so many levels. Just wonderful. Life is fantastic, isn't it? It is. The song, The Drover and the the Brumby, I I had a look and I was taken that um, Graham Howell last year's uh, Champion Champion of Champions winner winner was uh, was the penman behind that. He was. And um, so I judged Graham at the Piney Valley Country Music Festival in October last year. Mm-hmm. And um, it was actually probably might have been from that festival that Graham went on to the Champion of Champions. And Graham sang the Drover and the Brumby. And as a judge, I had to really bring my head back to stop listening to the song because it was captivating. Well, the album's actually called uh, Sharon Heaslip, A Year of Firsts. Now, if you don't have this album, you should be getting a hold of it. You can get onto Sharon on the website, which is all the W's dot Sharon Heaslip, H-E-A-S-L-I-P dot com, or you can always catch her on Facebook and sort of guide your way through that way there. Uh, one other thing I'd noticed on the actual album, this is why it's important to get a hold of the album, so you can actually read the little slips in the backs and everything like that. I noticed you put a couple of Pam Thomason songs on there, which is absolutely beautiful, such a, a lovely lovely lady um she's obviously no longer with us but a beautiful lady and a beautiful songwriter absolutely and i never met pam but i heard a couple of her songs and then um approached the family about getting some more of her songs in order to record them because i'd previously recorded another one of pam's on, on another on my gospel album and and the, there's two songs that are on this um walk me home precious lord it's just to me was so similar to the Patsy Cline style. So I've, there's many facets to me with country music. I love the old traditional style and the Patsy Cline just as much as I love the bush ballads. And um, so Walk Me Home, Patsy, um, Walk Me Home, Precious Lord, was a joyful song that, um, given Pam's story, I knew it would have been quite an intriguing song for her to write. And then the dear old song called Don't Ever Stop Holding My Hand. And... Um, that's very special to me. I'm very lucky to be blessed with a very long time marriage. It's the same with, with both of you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you just love to, to hold the hand and touch the person that's very near to you. I often say, actually, Ian hangs on really tight, especially around Maya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try and keep in a direction. Now, we could talk all night, but we are, time is a little rushed tonight. We're very busy. I hope we can catch up very shortly in, in the next few weeks or um, perhaps when you're down this way, maybe get you into the studio and even let the people just see, listen to what a beautiful voice Sharon Heaslip has mm. and maybe we can get you singing live in here. Oh, I would love to. Absolutely. A cappella. Love to do that. And um, I will make it happen. So thank you for the invitation. I'll bring my guitar in and I'll play for you. How's oh, that? okay. Lovely. And we'll do that. We'll do that at some what stage. Make whole, it happen, Trace. There whole you go. Band thing going beautiful. In here. <laughs> uh, this oh. is, we're going to have to go, but this is um, number 14. It's the first week in the charts, and I do have to mention that she's beaten Graham Roger. Graham <laughs> Roger's only at 15. So <laughs> next time you catch up with, friend. next time you catch up with friend. Graham, you'll be able to uh, let him know that you're one up on him. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hey, new Grandma. single. This is the new single written by Graham Howell, the Champion of Champions winner from last year, performed by Sharon Heaslip, The Drover and the Brumby.